What is going on the Get This Nick gang? We are back with another video and I am super, super pumped up and excited right now because I am finally back in the Lincoln Town Car. It has been a few days. I've had this thing dropped off at a shop because I've been doing something with the tires as well as the wheels on this car. And I'm gonna get out in a second and show you. I'm filming this part inside just because it's chilly out and your boy only has a hoodie on right now. But as you guys know, the wheels on these cars and with elements and age and everything else, they start to peel over time. It's that like brushed aluminum from the factory. And mine, unfortunately, were doing that. I showed you guys it multiple times. And I always told myself that I was gonna get something done with the wheels. I didn't know if I was gonna go after market. I didn't know if I were gonna get my stock ones refinished. But I needed tires and I needed my wheels fixed. And I always told myself that when it was time to do those, I was gonna do them at the same time. And that's what I recently did. So I just literally got this baby back from the shop. I got it washed up to the best that this hand wash by the house does it, which isn't really great, but it'll do for now. And I'm gonna pop out in a second and show you guys what we're working with, with these wheels. So without further ado, let me go out here and deal with this cold and show you guys what we got going on. All right, so we got the sun popping out for a little bit here. She's looking decent. We got the nice chrome grill. And I love that I don't have a front plate on this car because I feel like if you were to smack a front plate right there, it just would take away the look of how this thing looks. I mean, look at the presence of this thing. Even the camera's having a hard time picking up that shiny grill because it's beaming out here right now. So back to what I was saying, let's get right into it, guys. Let's take a look at what we're working with here. So as you can see, I still have the stock wheels on this baby, but time out on the wheels real quick. Let me get to these tires real quick. So I've always asked you guys in the comments, what do I do about tires? Do I go ahead and get, you know, regular black sidewall tires? Do I go ahead and stick with the white wall tires? And you guys have told me time and time again, if you got a Lincoln Town car, you have to stick with the white walls. It's just classic. That's how they came. That's how they're meant to be. And honestly, the more and more I thought about it and looked at them, I was like, yeah, you know what? These things do really look nice with white walls. And that's what I decided to do. So we got the Travel Star white wall tires on this thing. Any of you guys know in these Lincoln Town Car forums and groups, that is typically what people go for is the Travel Star tires. Unfortunately, they do not make the Michelin white walls anymore that originally came stock on this car that I got rid of. So we got Travel Star brand new white wall tires on there, as well as we got these wheels completely stripped down and powder coated. So what you are looking at here is a completely powder coated wheel. Um, if you guys remember from previous videos, I had pitting going on in here. So I would have peeling going on and you were seeing it on the inside. And I showed you guys in multiple videos over time, but now they're nice and soft. There's no pitting, there's no dirt or grime that's getting caught up in that peeling, flaking, you know, aluminum anymore. It is just, I'm super happy with it. Brand new tires brand new wheels it looks really clean it looks great i mean i'm super super happy with it and it's so it's such a nice you know i didn't even realize i don't know why shops do this and i drove home like that of course they left the sticker on the tire which is fine i mean it's obviously going to come off and i could scrape it off if i really wanted to but why would you install tires and not take that off you know what i mean wouldn't it make sense to like remove that? I don't know, whatever. I didn't notice it because it was probably down on the pavement when I got the car and they're probably all like that. I don't know, I gotta look around. I haven't, I've, I've just gotten the thing back so I'm still inspecting it myself. But anyways, we got everything cleaned up and it's such a nice feeling just because of the simple fact that I was literally on those 20 year old tires and I was driving and it's like, obviously that's a super big no-no considering that the age of tires and how you could have a blowout and obviously that would not be good so we got tires we got wheels we got her cleaned up and i got a lot of other stuff going on but i'm gonna explain that back inside just because it is chilly out here right now but i'm just gonna do like a little walk around so you guys could see it you guys could take it all in because that's what the main point of this video is the next part is gonna be me kind of filling you guys in on having this car for sale and this 
that and the other. And another thing, it was actually the guy that gave me an offer for 17,000 on the car. This strip right here that runs across the bottom, he pointed that out to me on my car and I didn't even realize that, you know, that was different on my car compared to other Lincoln Town cars. The way he explained it is that like, this is almost like an adhesive chrome piece that you stick on the bottom side skirt there. Um, I love the way it looks because now when I look at other Lincoln Town cars and they don't have this bottom piece, it really like, I feel like it's missing that now. And, and he pointed that out to me and he said, yeah, that is not, I thought that was factory. I thought this and this both came stock from the factory like that. And he said, no, he said that this strip is aftermarket, that bottom one, but I don't care if it's aftermarket because I love the way that looks. And like I said, now that I'm on, I'm a part of a bunch of Lincoln Town Car groups. And when I see them now without that, it just seems like it's missing something now. That extra chrome little bling really brings out that side profile. It makes those door handles pop. It makes that chrome around the windows pop more. It just, I don't know. It, it's a nice touch. It's a really nice touch. And I did drive home with these Travel Star tires quite a ways because the shop wasn't the closest to my house. And I don't have any issues with them. I know there was talks back in like 2020 or 2021. People, there was like a bad batch of these Travel Star tires going around. And people were complaining that they had some quality issues back then. There was like a, a there was a couple month period that people were complaining. Um, but these rode great. They're quiet. They felt great. I haven't noticed any issues with them. Um, obviously, that's just my first impressions. I haven't had them on there for long. But yeah, I'm not having any issues with them. So I don't know. Travel Star tires, for me at least, right now, I give them a thumbs up. But yeah, the LTC, I'm so glad to finally have this thing back because I've been using my dad's car to get to and from work. And, uh, Let's just say it's not a Lincoln Town car. So that's the little walk around and that's the little reveal I wanted to show you guys. So tires, wheels, boom, we're good. The next thing that I got going on for this baby is while I had this car in the shop, getting this whole process done, I started ordering a bunch of stuff. I went on like a maintenance mania thing and I decided I'm gonna get everything dialed in for this car. So I'm talking brake fluid, power steering fluid, oil, oil filter, the engine filter, air filter, just everything. I Oh, a fuel filter, I'm gonna replace that. I have been going through just basically everything, whatever I could fix on my own, I'm going to do. And stuff like the coolant, like I'm gonna take it in to get the coolant flushed and changed because I don't feel like messing with that in my garage. Uh, the other stuff is pretty self-explanatory, the coolant thing. I'll take it to Ford and I'll get that done, you know, have them do that. So basically we're going to have this thing all in tip top shape dialed in and regarding selling the Lincoln Town Car. Now I posted about it. I told you guys about the $17,000 offer I got for this car and it was mixed. Some of you guys said you should take the offer and run, you know, look for something else. The next you, you know, the next group of you guys said, do not get rid of that car. You should keep it. You should be getting more than $17,000. That car is worth more than 17. Keep it. You'll never find another one that clean or that low mileage. And I understand that and I get that. But it was kind of like 50-50. You guys were pretty mixed on it, which is I was surprised about. But in the meantime, in the midst of all this, I did get another offer from a gentleman who actually has something different. It's not a ca it's it's a partial cash offer, but he also wants to throw in his vehicle. Now, I don't want to say what the vehicle is because I don't want to spoil it just in case me and this guy do work out an offer and I do get it. I don't want to spoil it. So, but he he hasn't given me a dollar amount yet to include on top of his car, but if the dollar amount is a strong dollar amount then I might have to go ahead and take it. Now, I know a lot of you guys are upset about that because you do not want to see this car leave that leave the channel here. And I understand that. But at the end of the day, I love this car. There's nothing wrong with it. I truly do enjoy it. But I need to do what is smart for me 
financially in my situation right now. It's not like I'm dying to need, you know, I don't need the money for this car. This car's paid off. I have the title for it. Everything's good with that. You see what I'm saying? But it's something about if you if you buy something and especially a car that is known for depreciating and someone gives you a very strong offer of a genuinely big amount more than what you purchased it for, it kind of comes to the point where we're like, yeah, I do love the car, but at the same time, I would kind of be nuts to not take this offer. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, the big problem with this is I got this car for 10000 or $10,500 back in September, which is a very, very good price for what this is. It's hard to have someone sitting there offering me $17,000, $18,000, $19,000 for this car, almost double what I paid for it. And for me to look at them and be like, yeah, um, I don't know. I don't think so. It's very difficult for me to do that because in my eyes, I see it as I could sell it. I can get that money and I could reinvest it into something else for the channel, for you guys. I could get another Lincoln Town Car or I could do a build series with a Mercury Marauder or a Crown Vic. You know, there's there's so many other things I could do with that money and kind of keep reinvesting it into the channel and keep it going for content for you guys. At the end of the day, there's only so much I could do with this Lincoln Town Car. Yes, I love making videos on it, but at the same time, because of how low mileage this car is, I don't ever really want to mess with it or do anything crazy with it. You know what I mean? I like keeping this car very close to stock as possible because once you start changing stuff around with the head units or rims or wheels and you start doing aftermarket stuff here and there, it really starts to drop the value of these cars because when people are looking for a clean, low mileage example of a Lincoln Town car, they want it to be bone stock. They don't want it to have all these aftermarket black out things and aftermarket rims or bigger tires or smaller tires or whatever the case may be. They want it stock. And that's great. I understand that as a car guy, I get it 100% and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing with it. But me personally, if I'm doing YouTube content for you guys and, and wanting to post content on a YouTube channel, I want to be able to get something that I can kind of put my own touches on. You know what I mean? And I'd love to get like a, like I said, like I already mentioned, like almost like a build series. Maybe I get a Ford Crown Vic where I kind of make it like a sleeper or like a hot rod where I do exhaust to it. I do aftermarket rims. You know, I do aftermarket tires and I put a tune on it. You know, that's something that I could really put my own touch on, give to the channel, keep making content on. This stock Lincoln Town Car especially if I'm keeping it stock, I can't really do much for you guys. You know, I could do point of view driving videos. I could do things I like about it, things I hate about it. But like over time, I can't just keep showing you guys the same car over and over again. You know what I mean? It just like, nobody wants to see that. No one wants to see me just keep blabbering about a car that I'm not doing anything. Every video you guys watch of mine, you open it up and the car looks the exact same. You know what I mean? Don't you want something a little different where I can come out here and be like, guys, check it out. I just slapped a supercharger on a Ford Crown Vic police interceptor. Let's do a zero to 60 run and compare it to how it was before. Like that is something interesting, but this, I love it. Don't get me wrong, but it just, for what I'm trying to do, especially with the whole YouTube thing, the Lincoln Town Car, I don't want to touch this car. I don't want to start modifying it because that it's going to defeat the whole purpose of me having this super clean stock low mileage example. And I know that's a lot of me blabbering right there that you guys just dealt with, but I hope that now that I said that and got that off my chest, you guys kind of, kind of understand where I'm coming from when I talk about the idea of possibly selling this car. And nothing is for sure. Obviously, if the offer the gentleman throws me is not what I expected or not what I wanted, I could always just say, hey, no, no thank you. But all this stuff that I'm doing to it, the tires, the wheels, all the fluids and everything, I have to do regardless if I sell this car or not. Stuff needs to be done, so I'm doing it for my peace of mind, as well as if I go to sell it to someone else, their peace of mind too. So. I will always keep you guys updated with what I'm doing with this thing. That's why I came out here to show you this update with the wheels and the tires. And yeah, as of right now, I got the Lincoln Town Car. I'm going to keep doing stuff to it, keep making videos for you guys. And if the right offer comes along, the right offer comes along and I'll take it. And of course, I'll update you guys. But if it doesn't come along, then we're riding out the Lincoln Town Car and that's just going to be it. So I'm in no rush to sell the thing. I don't need to sell the thing. 
and as long as i have it i'll keep posting these videos for you guys so that's an update on the car as well as an update kind of on the future of this channel where my mind's at regarding this car and yeah i wanted to come on here and just kind of rant to you guys and get a video out because i've missed this car i haven't had it for a few days and it feels so good to be back in this thing especially after driving my dad's car being in this you really realize the comfort and quality of this car and just how nice it is when you spend a couple days with something else and then you jump back in this it is like super super refreshing but that's enough of me blabbering i'm sorry i had to talk so much but i had to update you guys on what's going on here i hope you you like the wheels you like the tires i had to stick with the white walls i i love it I hope you guys enjoy it as well. I hope you're enjoying the Lincoln Town Car content. As always, you guys know what to do. Thumbs up, comment. You guys are great at that. I love reading your guys' comments. I love keeping in touch with you guys. Dan from Vegas, I've mentioned him on this channel before. I saw your video that you posted of your Lincoln Town Car L, your silver one, I believe it is. That thing looks sweet, man. I cannot believe it has over 100,000 miles because that thing looks mint. For the rest of you guys that have been hitting my email, get this nick at gmail.com. You guys have been sending me photos of your Lincoln Town cars. I appreciate that. I love checking them out. I got to get back in the swing of things of uploading your guys' Lincoln Town cars in these videos so that I could share them with everyone. Um, I know I started doing that for a second and then I kind of stopped. I've just been like trying to get in the rhythm of doing that again. So that's going to be it for you guys. Thanks for dropping by the channel again and we will see you guys on the next video. Peace.